content of my everything. Yes, this is one powerful day today. We have Manhood Academy, we have West Side, we have Dino Key, oh gosh, we have Darren, and look at this. This is powerful, you understand? This is what we're doing for the youth, yeah, in London. So we, each man is going to have their say on what they want done with the youth. There you go, Darren. No pressure. Jeez. Right, this is what I want done with the youth, yeah. I want us all as men within the community, notwithstanding ourselves, to stand up and be accountable. The one thing I've learned in life from my father, I was fortunate enough to have my father in my life, is that men are accountable for their actions. Whether their actions are good or bad, they should stand accountable for them. And that's the one thing I learned from my father, who was a very good father, and that's accountability. And that's the thing I want to do as a community activist, leader, somebody that works in the community, and something I want to instill in my son, that he should be responsible for his actions. And that's that. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna second everything, every, <laughs> second everything that Darren has just said. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna put the focus on the youth to say what I want from them. I'm gonna speak about what I am responsible for. What am I going to do? So, as somebody who spent their adult life working and acquiring stuff. 2020 for me is about taking that stuff and using it to su support the energy of our youth and our younger people. And um, yeah, to kind of take my personal self out of the equation and make it be about other people. Well, for, yeah, and our second, what um, Richard said, it's about what we can do as men. And what we need to do is come together, like we're doing right now, come together. And the more we come together, the more things will manifest and we'll see the young people come together as also. Come on. And this is my mentor, by the way. <laughs> no, no, I have to say that on camera. This is my mentor. Okay. This is how we're rolling, man. This is like Hollywood. This is what you call Hollywood, man. These are the G's in the real house, okay? But my name's Brother Andrew Mohammed, Westside Young Leaders Academy. And what I want to create with our youth today is black excellence. We want us to be on an economic front, a political front, and a social enterprise front, whereby we can then produce a community that are responsible for the actions, but building to the future, lick shop on Babylon. Respect, brother. Um, it's an honor to be here amongst the brothers, and really, um, I know when we were growing up, we never had nothing like this. No, true yeah. story. Yeah. And that is part of the reason why we're here today, because in terms of we don't want the young to go through what we had to go through. Yeah. So we're now coming together um, with different organizations and vying with each other in righteousness and in excellence and taking the best from each other in terms of best practices to work for these young because we, we need to see them excel on another level. So we need to work together more and more and more with our ego and just putting these young people first because that's what it's all about. So enough respect to be here to the man then. I would say two things. First of all, on a personal note and just for like us as elders and other generations of elders, creation of time. I think time is given by the God or the universe or whichever deity you believe in, but time from us can be created. So even just to make time to actually serve the younger people, which I definitely want to do more of, and also building an, even, like, an already big community. Because I think too many people might not realize how big our community actually already is. So even just making more people aware of how big the community is, so more and more people feel like, there's brotherhoods, there's sisterhoods, there's community hoods that they can join and be a part of. Thank you, brother. Kedu brothers, my name is David Okoro from Westside Young Leaders Academy, and I have two things as well. Number one, which I think is the most important thing, is that as brothers and, and as black men, as, as Africans, that we um, are a positive example to our young people because what they see is what they will be. And if they see, if they see confident, positive, powerful black men, then they themselves will become positive, confident, powerful young people who enter into um, adulthood. And also our, our big mission this year is to continue to encourage 
and tell our young people that they are great. Mm -hmm. They are great, man, and our job is to bring that greatness out of them. And I know that every brother in this room will do that um, because we not only... Oh, yeah, and also tell our young people that we love them yes. as well. Let them know that we love them, man, and that's our duty as brothers, as elders, and as leaders. Ashe. Ashe. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name's Liam. I run a project called Cooking Over Crime. And my first thing is to come out and support other people that look like me that are making progress. And the second thing is to teach young people, you can't just be an employee, you must be a business, over, a business owner and you can produce something and bring it to the market. Dino Kai from Access UK. I will mirror, I will mirror what all of my brothers have said. And I think our role as well as men is to identify delivery partners of a similar ilk so that we can build out and scale exactly what we're doing ourselves. <laughs> and to call upon those men who've got the question in their chest about stepping out and committing to something and joining one of these organizations. So even with the Road CEO program that we're gonna be rolling out from February this year, we will wanna tap into all of these organizations to give taster sessions. So if we think about the beauty of what we do as a virus, we want to infect our young men's minds so that they can go on and infect more young men's minds. Now, as a positive virus, we want to grow throughout their consciousness so that they start to swim in the pool and gather more and more about being functional men just based on the demonstration that they see in front of them. So any men that have come to a, a roadmap in their life that know they're accomplished, like you said, you've acquired things and intellectual capital and want to give that back in any way. Seek out any of the organizations that we have as delivery partners and just give your wisdom back to our young men. Mm. Definitely, definitely. Greetings, greetings everybody. Once again, also second ever what everybody said and I'm honored to be here as well. Um, and the first thing that I'd have to say is knowledge. So it comes down to the knowledge and information that we're actually passing on to the next generation. Now, there's a time where at a click of a button, knowledge and information is readily available. But I think it's also our responsibility to set up, whether it be schools, educational systems, rites of passage like that, where we're teaching the next generation so that our future is in better hands, basically. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's my say, basically. And I'm yeah, man. Ashe, Ashe. Ashe. So I'm Shola, otherwise known as Shola Story, and um, I'm a storyteller. And I believe that we, when we talk of the next generation, really we're talking about ourselves because there's only one cycle, it's a circle. Mm -hmm. So the youngers are the same as the olders, actually. So it's about reconnecting the youth to the ancestors, through the elders, through us, into the youth, back into the spirit world, and round and round and round. And one of the things that I'm really keen to do is to give the young people a different past, because many of the young people I work with at the moment, they're coming from past that have caused pain, trauma, and so they express that trauma on the street. We want to create a world where the young people, their past actually supports their future. So that how, how, how we work with them in the past creates a future, a world that we all want to see, a place that we all want to be. Hashima. Yes, anyway, I'm gonna take this, right? We're in 2020, yeah? You can see all these brothers, yeah? It's two, two, meaning that we have to throw out two and take in two, yeah? I'm gonna throw out fear, yeah? And I'm going to throw out ego. And I'm going to take in change, yeah? And I'm gonna take in unity. Because those are the two aspects that we need to do to unify ourselves. So in that perspective, we need to put a, a test to all our men out there and within the house to doing a man's rites of passage of all of us going to Africa once and for all and stop the talking. That is 2020 vision. Brother Constance. <laughs> How do I match that? How do I match that? Wow. You know what? All I gotta say on this build is if I span this room right now, we have the vanguards in the London community right here in one space. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Look who we have here, all together, unified as one mind, you know? 
What we're going to do for 2020 is a question. We all have one thing in common, and that is our young'uns. So let's see. Big things are going. All right, bless to the kings. This was a wonderful build, and we're going to keep on building, and we're going to continue leaving that legacy. So anyone who wants to say something before we're out? Oh, we've, before we even leave, we've got another brother. Jeez, his name is Rio, the love child. And he's got something to say that, that will create that chain for 2020. Please give us some info to the children. Wow, no pressure. No pressure. I'm amongst kings and um, I'm grateful for the journey of what 2020 looks like because... Today was a prime example of what unity in the community looks like. And also, it's a starting of a new era. And I say that to say, 2020, we can use these words, we can use these numbers. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, all the faces here, we've been doing the work. It's nothing new around 2020 for us, you know? Mm -hmm. Now it's about how we collectively do the work. Downstairs, they're dealing with um, Kwanzaa, Ujima. You know, they're talking about the whole unity of what it means to be, you know, a village. Mm -hmm. And I come upstairs and I'm seeing all my brothers already in <laughs> formation. So the village has always been there. 2020 for me is about how I align with the other active members of the village. And I think to make it very clear, let's not worry about unity, let's worry about how we love each other. Because unity seems to be too far-fetched for us. Sounds too big, oh, unity, we're never gonna get there. You know, because it sounds like a big, big mission. How about how I love my brother, you know? How I love my sister, how I appreciate those who are directly in front of me. So that's what I'm gonna say for 2020, let's not make the vision so grand, you know? Let's deal with what's right in front of us, you know? Love is free, it's easy and it's very fulfilling to give. So I'm gonna say, yo, on behalf of everyone in this space here, 2020 is about being actively in love with what's in front of us. Blessings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Peace, love, and harmony. I shake. From Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. How can we incorporate that listen, with the Manhood Academy? Very simple. So, me and Nana at Access UK have developed the uh, Road CEO, which is deliver business acumen to our young men. Our young men and young women. So, in the respective Womanhood Academy, we come down and do a taster session as well. And once they demystify all of the things involved in running a business, and they learn that these are transferable skills, and they get these in the system from young, they become secondary. So, in the four processes of learning, they're an unconscious unconscious they don't know what they don't know 